Welcome in everybody to the Snowbound mod. This mod was made by Dr. Bones, as well as many other talented modders in the community. It adds new items, new movement, dark magic element, yeah, you'll see. Rocket jumping, more difficult enemies, hybrids, dude, so many things, it's insane. If you want to download it for yourself, it will be in the description. Snowbound, we'll turn that on. And keep in mind, this is a large mod, so it's going to take a little bit to load. And unfortunately, there's a lot of hotfix editing, so it's going to have longer load times for playing the mod. But you know what? Some mods are like that. And then it is recommended that you run Sanity Saver 2 because you are using custom items. You want to make sure that, like, you know, they don't get deleted, right? So Sanity Saver, we're turning that on. We're going to be playing Maya today, so let's go ahead and start a new Maya. And yo, guys, for day number one, name. You know what? We're doing Snowbound, right? Let's do Snowman Head, right? Makes sense. Okay, Dark Maya Jake. Like, Dark Magic, right? Let's do it, dude. Now, there is a movement thing they added for the mod that... I'm not a huge fan of, which is quick like movement or like old school movement where you don't look like you're sprinting, you're just like walking really fast. I disabled it because it just feels weird for Borderlands. But yeah, they increased movement speed too and air strafing. And then, like I said, they added rocket jumping. So if I find a bandit launcher or whatever, we can like actually team fortress rocket jump. But hey, this is a farming mod. There's a lot of new items. So having that extra speed is going to be huge. Oh, they sped that up. That's cool. I wonder what else they sped up. Oh, everything's sped up, I see. It's like really, really fast. Huh? It glows now? For the mod, there is two different types of legendaries. Dark orange, which is your good legendaries. And then yellow, which is your like standard legendary. And then every class has a new skill, passive skill. And for Maya, you get higher health regen um, from dark magic and status effects. So that's going to be huge. And then longer fight for your life duration. If you don't want to check the online drop list, you can like go over to your challenge tab and then see what every single enemy in the game can drop. Muckle Dragger, we're coming up on that. Drops one yellow and one orange and one zero com. So you know like where to target farm somewhat specific things, but you still have to like go out and farm it. But yeah, look at all this farming we have to do. Uh -huh. Our booster is going to be like a normal thing we just randomly find now, like a droppable. Okay. But yeah, the FOBs changed too. Look at that. My arm's kind of weird. Don't worry about that. Oh, dude, increase aim down sight speed, too. Wow. Yeah, swap speed's faster, too. Oh, also, I did read that enemies are sped up, so they're moving a little bit faster, so combat's gonna be more difficult. Oh, we got a shield already? Okay, cool. Oh, they put lore. Okay, if you want to read that, go for it. I'm not reading, you know, books today. I'm sorry. Wait, why does it look different? We got bandit barrel and torque barrel at the same time on it. 90% blast jump power. Rocket jumping, okay. Dude, I already have 20 rockets, too. What the heck? Yeah, that's different. Dude, everything's different. Rocket jumping. Yeah, look at that. And it didn't like down me. That's cool. Oh, can I still drop your load too? Cool. He didn't remove that. So, Knuckle Dragger has a new drop apparently. So, we got to farm for that. Deals high crit damage. Oh, but they slowed it down. It's so slow now. Okay, fair enough. One thing about this mod is we did show off a few of the items on the Azure Lance mod. But this is its own mod and has like a little bit of overlap. But there is a bunch of new stuff still. Yeah, over 200% crit. Wow. Oh. Hornets. Duo. That's a new prefix. Bruh. You thought Axton had swap speed now. Up low. Oh, 22% melee. They scaled it down? Oh, we got double drops. We got a Hornets and the Legendary Hunter. We're not zero, so we can't use it. Level up. Oh, wait. We got it. Hold on. Hold on. Skirmish Guardian level one. Hold your ground forever. Regenerates assault rifle ammo based on a percentage of your max ammo. Okay, so for early game, it'd be like very slow. Oh, do that burst. Ammo regen's very, very slow. Like one ammo every 1.5 seconds. There's a vault symbol on it. I like it. Very, very cool. Yeah, the BL1 Guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Is it really that good? Wait a minute. Hold on. Malawan Dark Magic to me. Yeah, it looks like slag, but I mean, it is a different, like, damage type, right? Is it healing me, too? Hold on, let me take some damage. Okay, now we shoot him. Let's see if he can heal. Yeah, a little bit of healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so dark magic. That's fun. Oh, we got, like, quality stuff here already. Okay, so the blast power is, like, how high you jump, I guess. That's a cool stat. Dude, everything's so weird. Look at this. It's like E-Tech Barrel and Doll Barrel at the same time. Fire's humming rounds. Wait a minute. Wait, I want to try that. Okay, Hornet, you gotta go. Cannot crit either, okay. Homing rounds cannot crit. Wait, what? Huh? Is that a custom bullet pattern? Oh. 
What is that from? I've seen that thing before. That mesh. Okay, another echo. If you want to read up on it, there you go. Stuff is going down. Ah, uh, the homing is fairly small range. Okay. Also, they have bullet trails now. That's cool. Hey, if your aim sucks, there you go. Oh. You already got a warder? I'll take that. Wait, I can get up here now. Hold on. Eh. Let me up. Also, dark magic is doing damage over time. That's cool. Level up. Okay, level five. Point into base lock. What is that? That's not normal. Like, I know that you said bosses are more difficult, but like, they have custom guns. <laughs> Yo, he's shooting like a bonus package type gun. Got him. Yo, first run, bonus package, nice. 125% blast jump power. I'm scared. Okay. Uh, all right, let's farm this first, yeah. Oh! Is it doing more? I'm low. So we're gonna do a point into probably foresight for the moment. Oh, we got it. And it's dark magic, wow. Are we getting lucky? Like dark magic isn't guaranteed, right? 267 mag size, low base damage. Mage Mong for the Curb Blaster and the Trash Panda. Okay. So we gotta farm that. Oh, the purple is a little bit lighter. I see that. It's not like purple slag. It's like pink for dark magic, right? Yo, they've been sped up, bro. This is scary. Stop. Not like this. Symbiosis. Let's do it. Oh, not cooldown. Wait. Sharpshooter. Crit damage. Oh, wait a minute. They changed to Vault Hunter Relic. Uh, luck is a superpower. Slightly increases chances of receiving higher rarity loot from wool drops. No! Ah, uh, Wait, damage over time kill. Wait, what? Yo, we bleed out so fast. Or, like, respawn so fast. Dude, actual raid boss. What the heck? Uh, I'm on level two. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, what about the Skyrocket? Surely they nerfed it, right? It cannot be, like, as good as it is, right? Oh. Did we already get it? Level up. Oh, wait. We didn't get a drop. Never mind. I thought I saw something. It must have been overlapping the hell. The Gardener? Increases fire rate while shooting. Deals high crit damage. It's fully auto. Honestly, it might be better than what I have. Wait, TB or blast power? I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. I want to try something. The double. And the head bounce. Let's freaking go. It's an E-Tech green rarity, but not technically E-Tech. Oh, it's fast. Wow. Level up. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Okay. Trash Panda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shots that hit an enemy have a chance to spawn ammo pickups. I don't recall doing that for Azor Lands. Uh, regenerates SMG ammo while held. High fire rate, low accuracy. I'm okay with that. So it's just really good at, like, you know, sustaining ammo, I guess. Wait, what? Seraph Crystal? That would have been from the Marauder here earlier. Wait, are Seraph Crystals, like, a rare drop from anybody anywhere? Or, like, tougher enemies? That would up. Dude, we have so much to check out. It's insane. Captain Flint has four different drops, but we need to get the new one, which is a one in four drop chance. Slagged Lawn Chair. Yup. You know, that is a very bandit thing to do, huh? So bandit launchers are not meta for rocket jumping. Gotcha. So more projectiles does not mean bigger jump. Let's skip, dude. Lol. Oh, the skip. I love it. It's time to die. We got him. Oh! Yo, we got a first try. Let's go. Degreaser. Making bacon for the red tag, sorry. High fire rate, status chance, status damage, swap speed, and projectile speed. Ah. Oh, is it also short range? That what's up. Oh. Oh, he different. Another one? Another three? Wait, he drops a Mayakam? This new? Oh, it's just Legendary Siren. So it is the normal Legendary Siren, it looks like. All right, level up, we done. Door guy, hi. Oh, that's fast. Yo, getting in the car and getting out is fast now. I like that. Good change. We got bonus Lee. Wait a minute. So we have two new drops from Savage Lee. Rip. Are you kidding me? Shots duplicate several times and spread out horizontally. Did they not change it? Is this still like vanilla Herald? Wait, they did change it. The bullet pattern's different. Yo, they changed everything, man. I didn't even check my skills. Maybe they did change something. Oh, wait, this is different. 
Any effects that regenerate health or restore health via damage are more effective. However, your shield no longer recharges over time. That's interesting. Yo, what about the Rough Rider? That could be a build. Okay, so the only skill that changes uh, res. That makes sense. You're right, dude. We could do Melee Maya. Like actual Melee Maya, any Void Shield at all times. Oh, look. Oh, did we get it? Red text. Oh no, we gotta be nice. Has the combined effect of a Merv and a Transfusion Grenade. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let's see. So, yeah, Merv. Like, goes into Transfusion. That's really cool. Bubble up. This mod is a bit harsh. Let's do Fight Your Life Fire Damage. Emulates really, really good. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Grants high damage resistance, reduces movement speed. Oh. I already hate it. Okay, it's not as slow as I thought. Boy, it does feel a little bit bad. Oh! Michael, hello. Wait, what? Uh, Dark Magic TD or Wait, what? Yo, that is not the let's go. What is this? Majima. Shots knock back enemies. Oh, no. High damage projectile count, reload speed, and melee damage. Mag size of one. Dude! And look at the reload speed, too. Uh. Um. <laughs> okay, I like this gun. We're gonna farm a new one. I wanna get more. Oh, what? Okay, let's go can randomize. Wait, did we just get lucky on this then? And also shot? Wait, what does it do, though? So it is a normal, I think, let's go. I think. It feels faster, though. Like, more fire rate, maybe? Majima Everywhere System. Uh, never heard of it. Someone said Majima has a chance to replace other items. Oh! So Majima's just a, a world drop anywhere. I'd love to. I wonder if I can knock the guy into the void. Okay, close enough. Whatever. Um, wait. Aw, oh, crap. I put him over there. There we go. We got him. Cool. Okay, unfortunately, I didn't scale the mission for the fastball. So fastball is going to be level 12. Every mod pack ever has nerfed the fastball, so maybe it won't be like fastball damage. Do I like go to that map and find another echo like this or something? Yeah, lore for what though? Dude, there's another one. There's so much lore. Let's do it. A memoriam. Okay, quads might be crazy in the mod. Wait, what? Are you kidding me already? Fires in full auto, high fire rate and mag size, low accuracy and reload speed while aiming increases fire rate and decreases damage. Okay, it's like a red doll. Very cool. Uh, like it gets a kill, but like that's a lot of ammo, dude. Not sure about that. Bob. Oh. Rip. Um, bubble up. Oh. There it is. Yeah, they nerfed it. They nerfed it. Fair enough. I mean, I would expect them to. We need bigger jumps. Okay, Majima can spawn anywhere, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm so confused. I want to knock you in the hole. He won't do it. We got him. Yeah, blades are like weird melee now. I wonder if like the melee damage is based off of the level. Dude, that is an interfacer. Oh my goodness. That's kind of gross. <gasps> Shredded fire. Uh, fast barrel spin up, high fire rate. It might be the same like vanilla shredder fire. Very fast. I like that. Oh, we got two items. The eight balls of launcher. Gotcha. Okay. The weapon of choice for the demolitionist at heart. High damage while aiming. Fire five extra projectiles with reduced accuracy and fire rate. 1340 shield? Huh? Does not fully negate damage upon absorbing ammo. So, I mean, it's a better shield. I need a better shield, dude. Dude, also my arm. Ignore that. Ooh. So hit fire, one shot, aim down sight, more shots, but less accurate. What if I aim down sight and rocket jump? Oh. Dude, this movement, man. Oh, we leveled. Wait, no, he drops a trespasser. Oh. How do we not get it until now? Unlucky, I guess. Bypass shields. Yeah, it's like the normal trespasser. Maybe, maybe higher stats on it. Bop. Bop, up. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not doing it. Uh, crit damage. Cool. No cloud kill, man. I refuse. 5% chance for the uh, gauge com. We got that. That's cool. Or no, let's go farm a uh, Black Queen now. Yo, first round. Let's go. And boss. Cool. Oh. Wait, is that the drop? I didn't even, like, look what she drops yet. 
Dracula. Rustler? Wait, we got Rustlers too. High damage, low mag size. Always dark magic element. Ah. And it's another one shot reload. Let's go. Oh. Oh, we got the Ruby. Let's go. Cool. Now, is the Ruby still the Ruby or what? So, if I needed the heal, hold on. Let me take some like lethal damage. Okay, is Ruby still overpowered? Oh, no. Be gone. What the heck is a GEP gun? I guess we're farming it. Uh huh. It worked out. Cool. This guy's a pain in the butt to farm too. Oh, yo, is that it? Did we get it? Huh? Wait, we have the shield 1340 and now the shotgun 1340. 27. 15. 27. Okay, so you double your mag size almost. Wait, this might be something, guys. And it's ammo efficient too. You know what? It is. Oh, we got it. Let's go. I was going to say the shotgun is eating more ammo than my one shot reload gun here. The Dracula. GEP gun. All right. What does it do? Uh, I like to make a silent takedown. Fires homing rockets, high damage, low fire rate, and mag size. Oh. Whoa. That's got some crazy homing on it. I thought it'd be like a little tiny bit of homing, but no, it like really homes, guys. Holy crap. The toll. It's still five bucks. They didn't change it. Dude, that should be a unique item for like Exodus or whatever mod pack. You know, you pay the toll and then you get like a gun to pop out of it. Oh, that's cheating, bro. What if I double shot? I missed? There we go, boss. Oh. Okay, sacrifice chamber. We're going to do it, but I don't think there's a item tied there. Got it. Let's go. Ow. No, but still vanilla. <laughs> we got to farm Doc Mercy. I forgot about him. So he drops a new item, apparently, which I think that was in Azor Lands, if I recall. All right, medical mystery. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, they made it to shotgun. I remember this item. There it is. The Infinity 2. But unfortunately, pretty under level now. Also, did I see something else drop? I did. So it's an infinite, like, Hyperion shotgun. And you know what? We got the sniper too. Why not? Remember that skin? Dude, where did that even come from? Is that like a data mine skin that never got released? Oh, and it shoots the infinity pattern too. Ooh, we got something new, guys. I'm excited. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, that's the rock salt. Regenerate shock and ammo. That's cool. I'll try it out. Dude, that is some slow regen. Holy crap. That's like once every like four seconds. Level up. So T door launchers look different. Wait, they called T door launchers Black Friday. Huh. Here we go. Okay. Dude, that's cool. Level up. Wait, that's a normal storm front. And we got a crystal. Dude, finally! Okay, well, let's kill all the rats first and we'll uh, check it out. The brimstone. Fires a rapid burst of lasers after barrel fully spins up. High projectile count, accuracy, fire rate, and reload speed. Low mag size. Oh! Okay, so I'm holding down the trigger. That first shot's nothing. And then it winds up and releases all of it. Oh, accuracy's pinpoint too. Look. That does make sense. What am I doing? Hold on a second here. Let's skip, dude. Yo, I skipped Scorch too. Oh, crap. You know what? Let's do one more farm today. Why not? Oh. Yo, we got it. Let's go. The rescue girl. What does it say for the red text? Turn that ladder around. Uh, grant status effect damage resistance while being held. So if you're holding it, you can survive better, I guess. Yeah, if you're holding it, you don't catch on like fire or get corroded or nothing. Yeah, good for Pete, right? Just hold it and like, you know, tank the Novas. That might be the ultimate use for it. Our comment for today is from Why So Serious GM. Of the mods where they add new mechanics and weapons, can't beat it given one of the best games ever in new life. Yeah, that's what I really enjoy about these mods. You know, you play the game in a different way. And of course, the new items are a lot of fun too. Anyways, thank you all for the comments. Be sure to comment down below for comment of the day. And you might be featured in the next video. Have an awesome day, guys, and I will see you later. Peace out.